and let me tell you how God gives Luke chapter 6 and verse 38 please don't forget this for the rest of your life give the Bible says and it shall be given unto you here's how God gives ready read with me good measure uh -huh. pressed down shaken together and running over shall hold on so the way God gives is that he goes around the earth and he looks for men that he coordinates to your life that's how God gives and can I tell you something are you aware that the population of men is increasing on earth that may be bad for the climate but it's good for your giving because that means there are enough actors if you refuse to give God can use another person too shall men give he talks to you and you argue it takes one year imagine if God now tells this man and says give give Joshua Selman say a hundred thousand if it takes you one year to obey God wouldn't I suffer God God gave the instruction in January you obeyed December what now happens to me <laughs> So while you are arguing and disobeying, he will find another human. Please, someone believe that God, there are enough men to be used by God to bless you. Listen, when you know this, you stop becoming angry at individuals. Don't put pressure on your uncle. He's only one of 7.2 billion people that are available to be used. Listen. Save yourself the heart attack of blackmailing people and allow and and making people feel bad for being successful we do that a lot in nigeria once somebody rises from a family he's almost he will keep quiet for many years sometimes it's until he's about to die before you know he's that successful because everybody comes and you now say i prayed for you I mean, if you pray this intercession, it's you and God. God is the one who rewards you. But why put pressure on individuals like that? But if you know that God, see, let me tell you, if you believe what I'm teaching you, you can be here in Abuja or anywhere, whereas your answer will come from Israel. Someone will come and say, I don't know you. Ah. The next time someone tells you something, told me, say, aha, uh -huh, the giver is at work. The giver is at work. Moving men. Kali Parus Kadabata Moving system The giver is at work Please believe what I'm telling you The giver is at work Someone wants to shut down my company The giver The giver I approach you Daily bread Daily bread The urgency in this family One month may not meet us alive Where is the giver? Government cannot guarantee giving you daily. Your boss cannot guarantee giving you daily. I bring you good news. Abba is sufficient enough to provide for your daily bread. Listen now. Give us this day. When God was going to send me to this city, you know what it means to come to Abuja from Zaria? You are intelligent, think well. If God does not send you, you will not only disgrace yourself, you will be a memorial, you will be a lesson for people, you, you will be a portrait of what disobedience looks like. They will use you in Bible schools to teach people, parents will use you to caution their children, People in politics will use you to warn, to show people how painful it is to disobey God. Hallelujah. But when I sent thee, lackest thou anything? Hear me. I want you to leave tonight's service with a sense of confidence. Look at men as if they owe you. Look at them as if you are wondering. You mean he has not spoken to you yet? 
I, I expect you to be one of the actors. I don't mean talk to them and harass them. Listen. Sit down. Exodus chapter 3 and 21. Let me finish that part so we move quickly. We have a few minutes and we're done. Exodus 3, 21. This is how God gives. Please read it. You're a Christian. Ready? Want to read. And I will give these people. Hold on. Who will give? Who will give? God. And I will give. But this is how I will give. In the sight of the Egyptians. I will give you by placing something on your life called favor. Listen. Listen. And the character of that favor is that even if you, it is Egyptians I need to use when favor is on you it's like a spell even egyptians that have oppressed you for 430 years if your favor only works for family members it's not authentic favor please give us that scripture exodus 3 21 it shall come to pass this is the proof i have given to you that when you go hallelujah you shall not go empty you shall not go empty you shall not go empty i know you lost your wallet but don't kill yourself ah my life is finished how much is there don't kill yourself like that the savior is in your heart a little box with maybe a few dollars or something just fell and you, you are giving yourself heart attack every time you wake up in the morning and you see that there are still men rejoice i'm transferring in you a very powerful mentality it's not a mentality of irresponsibility it's a superior advantage we have in this kingdom man of god let me tell you this don't be writing letters to people and say till now god has not spoken to you don't harass anybody they didn't call you let me tell you something from where hold on please guys from where you are if you dare wake up in the morning and hear the sound of cars moving and see people moving rejoice there are enough men the giver he can play men like chess from heaven you move forward move forward go to him they don't have to know you strangers shall feed your flock is it not in your bible these are my convictions believe me we are not just shouting for nothing if you don't believe what i'm teaching you sooner or later life will so whip you because you will see how limited your platforms are men is how god gives he uses men 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 so he can sit down and speak to you and say this family i'm instructing you that they never beg for bread again listen and you come to that family and say god sent me here how many of you are working in this family only two of us how many of you are graduates all of us why is that so anyway god has instructed me to come it is god that gives but he uses men take away superstition around giving giving comes through men what god gives you is he gives you the capital that buys money it's called two riches in one of our sessions on finances i hope god will grant us grace to deal with it if all you have is money you are in trouble Because there is a realm you get to where everybody around you is rich. What then do you have? Money itself is a product. There is what buys it. The same way money can buy a bottle of drink. There is something that also buy, buys money. The name of the capital that buys money is called true riches. You are only wealthy when you have true riches. 
Someone can dash you money and it will finish. But not when you have two riches. One of them, there are seven of them that God gives men. But only one of them I will share with us tonight is called favor. Favor is two riches. It is the capital that buys money. Maybe I should add one more. Should I add one more? The second of the two riches is called relationships. Everything money can buy, relationships can pay for too. In the multitude of men, the Bible says, is a king's honor. If all you have is just access to financial resources without men, you will not do much. Not everything opens to finances. There are things that only open to the ministry of men. The Lord gave the word and great was the company of them that published it. Are we blessed? Next verse. 